Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Amr Saleh, and I'm here with my colleague Mohammed Nashat from Integrate. And today we're going to talk to you about two products that are solving two major problems that are facing the maker community. Our first product is called One Shield. Basically, to talk about first uh, Arduino. Arduino is a kit that is a great open source hardware kit that you build projects with at home. So you do home automation applications, you can play with sensors, but the problem is to do an application with Arduino, you have to buy some accessories and shields like uh, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, GSM. These accessories connect Arduino to the outside world. The problem is to do a good project, you have to pay like 200 or 300 dollars. So imagine that you have only one shield that you can reprogram to do all these functions. This is our product. It is called One Shield. We designed a platform that connects with our shield and it talks to your smartphone through an app. It allows you to use your smartphone as any shield you want. Let me show you a quick demo about how it works. Nashat, can you please uh, show us a demo? So as you can see here, there is a list of shields or accessories that you can select. We have Facebook, Twitter, LCD. Let's take, for example, the LCD. So we select the LCD. We go. We press a button. And in case you're not seeing it, it says, hello, TechCrunch. All right. So let me, let, let's go through a quick demos of how, what you can do with one shield. Nashat, can you please uh, play the video? Do we have the video? Uh, all right. So do I see the video? I'm not seeing the video. Yes, there you go. You can use it at an LCD. You can play with your cat. So it, when it eats, it can tweet to you to come join for a snack. You can do this with only one line of code. You don't have to have that much technical background. You can sense the moisture of your plant. So when it gets thirsty, it can get you a notification on your smartphone. You can use multiple shields within one same application. And also, you don't have to carry keys around anymore. You have a keypad shield in your pocket. So you can unlock doors without having keys, without having to have carry keys in your pocket. Thank you very much, Nashat, for this demo. So our business model for this application is we have a hardware and a software. We're selling the hardware, and we're putting the software online for free for the community to develop and add more and more shields. So basically, this is the first product. Let's go to the second one. Now, if you are a maker and you are developing an electronic circuit application, you're going to have to use a breadboard. You get a breadboard, you put on the electronic components, but you have to connect between them using wires. Now, the problem is it is a very tiring process. It's time wasting and it's not efficient at all. It takes a lot of time and troubleshooting. So imagine that you could have a breadboard, but without using any wires. That is what we did. This is called a smart breadboard, our second product. We took the hassle of physically implementing the wires on the breadboard and put it all on the software. So you connect virtual connections of the software, and these connections are downloaded back on a hardware that sits behind the breadboard. So it does all the connections for you. So as you can see, the output is that you have the same result, but without absolutely no wires. So comparing the output itself at the end, you see here that we saved more than 80% of the time wasted in the implementation process. Now students can prototype more faster. Now they can focus on engineering rather than implementing. So this product is currently being registered as a US patent now, and it's an invention. No one did it before. So our business model for this is to sell the kit itself and license the technology. However, I remember these words from Dr. Khaled Ismail, he's the uh, CEO of Intel Mobile Communications in Egypt. He once told me that if you invented something really cool, it's really great, but no one will use it, then it's useless. There has to be a market. And the market here is the maker community. We're targeting the educational sector and the maker movement because in the past five years, there has been a surge in the maker movement, in the maker community. Now, 3D printers came uh, 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 small uh, sensors, uh, cheap components, all of these leverage the US, the hobbyist market, a lot. Now, we're speaking on more than 6,000 engineering schools around the world and more than 900,000 
engineering students who use breadboards. And for the hobbyist market, we're targeting more than 100,000 hobbyists only in the U.S. Our strategy to penetrate the market is by Kickstarter campaign for One Shield. We're launching it this November, inshallah. And for the educational sector, we're giving away free samples of smart breadboard to professors and students so that they can try it. Now, to wrap things up, finally, this is the team who developed all of this. We are a group of eight engineers. We come from an engineering background. We started in Cairo, Egypt. And we're divided into a software, a technical team, and a business team. And also, we're backed up by a team of mentors who have more than 30 years of experience in the technical and the business field. That was pretty much it. Thank you very much, and I'm happy to answer all your questions. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Excellent pitch. Well done. Thank you very much. Who would like to kick off? I think that was an extraordinary presentation for Thank someone that didn't much. know up until, what, an hour ago that you were doing it? R really well done. Thanks. Um, so a few questions. Is it just for the Arduino or is it also for Raspberry Pi? I I'm sorry? Is it just for the Arduino or can you also... You mean one shield, right? Yes. Yes, uh, there, there is an accessory for Raspberry Pi that allows it to be compatible with Arduino shields. So, so uh, basically, actually we're putting it as one of the incentives in the <laughs> Kickstarter, yeah. <laughs> Very good. And, and how, what's the price point? Uh, if you buy it from Kickstarter as an early backer, you get it for $20, but... Uh, 20 Yeah, $20. But uh, the actual price is $40. What's... Um, uh, obviously, we're going to initially target the ma maker audience, but is there also potential to go after something more mainstream, such as... Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm not sure what, what I would think of, but... Schools. Schools, kids, schools maybe. Thing. I mean, the Lego Raspberry blocks. Pi has been a smash hit with, with kids. Yeah. Uh -huh. We're working actually on a new software that is easy for teaching children about uh, electronic circuits and prototyping. Uh, but to, it, it's still in R&D, but we, we, we have this in plan. We have this uh, in our plan. Did you think about trying to integrate it with Lego blocks? I'm sorry? Lego, you know Lego blocks? Lego blocks? Yeah. Uh, for one shield or smart breadboard? Uh, both. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, uh, the beauty about smart breadboard itself is that it could be integrated into any single kit. Because once you have electronic circuits, you're going to have to use a breadboard. So this integration is very much uh, easy and useful for a smart breadboard. For one shield, it's, it's, uh, it's compatible with Arduino, and Arduino is compatible with everything. So basically, we're using this as an advantage for the product. Actually, we're making smart breadboard as well uh, compatible with Arduino. So Can you tell us a little bit about your personal background? I'm sorry? Your personal background. Yes, I, I, I come from an engineering background. I studied uh, communications and electronics engineering. Uh, and all the team has studied the software and uh, electronics engineering. And what have you done when you graduated uh, engineering? Yes, uh, we just graduated two years ago. This, uh, the smart breadboard was uh, our graduation project. We won several competitions. And we started, uh, we, we, we thought to commercialize it to, to continue development on. Yeah. And where did you learn your presentation skills? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, by practice, I guess. <laughs> so... The 100,000 uh, market, I, I think the market definition is that it stands right now is really small. Mm -hmm. Like 100,000 times $40 is $4 million. Mm -hmm. If you, you, even if you use the 1 million number, that's like $40 million. Mm -hmm. So um, that's going to be how much you, like money you want to make, like it, literally per month. Yes. See, if I you think he's massively it. underestimated his Yeah, I, I think you are, like, exactly. Raspberry Pi is growing astronomically. And what I'm excited about with this mm -hmm. is that, like, I've been looking at Raspberry Pis, trying to come up with a reason to use it, and I mm -hmm. can't. Uh -huh. And this gives mainstream people yes. a way to be able to use it. Like, this actually makes it approachable to the mainstream. So uh -huh. I think you're massively underestimating your potential, and you should be marketing it not to makers, because makers want to make it. You yes. should be marketing it to everybody else who can't be asked making it. Exactly. Yeah, it's just yeah. Put more zeros like to the end. Don't change anything else. Okay. I think it should be bad. <laughs> and, okay. but, but like in the beginning, I think that you will rely mostly on things like Kickstarter to raise money, because because of the market size issue, like it may be, it may take some time before you can raise uh, venture capital money. Yes, uh, but the beauty about Kickstarter actually is uh, because it has all the early adopters. Yeah. So this is a, a perfect way to start marketing for the product actually. What relationship do you have with Arduino or Raspberry Pi? Like, do you uh, we're, we're, we're currently talking to them uh, right now, but uh, we, we, haven't, we haven't got into a serious uh, um, uh, contract with them. But uh, in the open source world, you don't have to do this, actually. Uh, you just make everything compatible with each other, and uh, that's it. And, and 
your marketing strategy is just the Kickstarters of this world, or is there something different that you're doing? No, no, of course. Of course, we're contacting some distributors, and, and uh, we're doing some online workshops. And uh, actually, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you about our plan. We're, we're pla okay, we're, we're, we're planning for a, a website to share the, so that the community can upload and download uh, the apps and share w the, the, the ideas with them. If you follow us within the few next weeks, I'll, I will show you samples, of course, uh, what I'm talking about. I mean, I think, I think my recommendation would be hearing this, that your market strategy should not, it should not be for the gamers. This is the kind of thing mm. that could make it approachable. And Raspberry Pi is doing so astronomically well yes. that, you know, you've got you to hitch yourself to that bandwagon and, yeah, and yeah. really appeal to the mainstream people that are uh, terrified by the idea of that little packet on its own, but with, this, with these tools can actually start to do really cool things. Yeah, yeah. It just changes your marketing message a bit. Right, Don't make right. it too geeky, make uh -huh. it more mainstream. Yes, yes. Actually, actually, we're, we're, we're sending the message that everyone should be a maker. It's your right to do it yourself. And uh, for the Raspberry, if, if you notice the latest products from Arduino, the Intel, the uh, Galileo, uh, the Arduino is going to the direction of Raspberry Pi. They are doing uh, with the Texas Instruments and Intel. So they are making very powerful devices. However, we're compatible with them and uh, the Raspberry Pi. Mark, uh, Mike uh, insists that I will tell you what I told him, what I whispered to him. Okay. I whispered to him that at one point of your career, you should go to the MIT Media Lab. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's quite something from Yossi Vardy, sir. Thanks. Right, well, any other questions before we let you go? Well, guys, that was excellent. Well done. Well Thank done. you. Thank you, you very much. did it. Had a couple Thanks. of hours. Thank you. Great stuff. Integrates. Integrates.